Hey everybody and welcome back to Twin Cherry Studios and I hope you're having a fantastic day and I just got my hands on the PS1 Classic and as you can see on the screen behind me I am playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories which isn't actually installed on this console by default which means I did some trickery, I did some hackery and it's really easy and simple to do, it can be done in less than 5 minutes. Today I'm going to show you how to load up this with PlayStation 1 games. You're going to need a couple of things. The first thing you're going to need is obviously a PS1 Classic. You're going to need a USB hub if you want to play two player games. That is if you don't if you don't want to play two player games, you just want to play single player games, then you don't really need this. Preferably if you are going to buy a USB hub, you buy a powered one. I'll leave a link in the description down below where to find one of those. You're going to need a USB flash drive now this is a 16 gigabyte flash drive but anything will do as long as it can be formatted to fat 32 now if you have a usb that is above 32 gigabytes you're going to need to use a fat 32 formatter which i will also leave a link in the description down below as i always do leave the most helpful links in the description down below that's where all the links will be to anything that I use today. So sit back and relax, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and let's just dive into it, shall we? So the first thing you're going to need to do is to plug your flash drive into your computer. Right click and click format. And we're going to want to format it to FAT32. And again, if you have anything above 32 gigabytes, what you're going to have to do is to download a FAT32 formatter and use that instead the link for that will be in the description down below but because we only have a 16 gigabyte one here i can easily just do it using the typical windows 10 tools now we're going to label this and we're going to label this drive sony all capitals this is very important it will not work if the drive is not called sony all capitals all caps s o n y there it is sony start it's going to erase everything that's on it. Correct. Complete. Okay. Let's just check. Right click. Properties. Sony FAT32. There we go. And then click the link in the description down below to auto bleam 0.8.5. Scroll all the way down to the asset section and click auto bleam 0.8.5 Christmas edition dot zip. Or if you want the themes and extra things to add to that, you can click that one. I'm going to click that one because it's probably got more in to do. Click save file. So you can choose any of these Christmas edition plus the themes. This will just give you extra themes and screens and things like that to mess around with to kind of make it your own. Or you can just have the Christmas edition, the standard one, which is 500 megabytes. Once that's downloaded, take yourself to your downloads folder and you will have this auto bleam zip folder. And you can use 7-zip, you can use Windows Extract, you can use WinRAR, whatever program that you use, you can use it. So I'm going to use 7-zip and extract it. So this folder here, which will give you this lovely extra folder here. So I'll bring everything out of this and uncompress it into this little package for you. If you don't want to download 7-Zip or you don't have WinRAR, you can just use standard Windows tools by right clicking and clicking Extract All. They all do the exact same thing. Once that is finished, you're going to want to double click on this folder and take everything that is in this folder, right click, copy, and paste it in to the USB flash drive that we formatted before, the one that is titled Sony. Again, it is very important that you title your flash drive Sony, all capital letters. So if you've not done that yet, you can do that by right clicking. And when it says rename, click rename and rename it to Sony. So once that's all copied over, it is now just a case of adding our games. And now, as you can see, there is a bit. Bit, bit difficult here because we've got ROMs, we've got games, we've got RetroArch, and that is because the community itself has actually expanded since this first came out. So it is no longer just about playing PlayStation 1 games. You can play games from pretty much any system using RetroArch. How it runs, I do not know. I'm yet to test that out. I'm going to be testing out in a future video. I'm going to be testing out all the features of AutoBleam as AutoBleam 0.9 has just come out. But this is the easiest way. This is the most stable way just to play PlayStation 1 games. That's what we're focusing on today. So we need to go into the games folder. And this is where you drop all your games. Now, I can't tell you where to find these games, obviously, for copyright reasons. But Google and Reddit are absolutely your friend here. So I'm just going to copy some games over that I already have. So again, we want to go into the games folder that is on our Sony flash drive that we are creating and click paste. And once everything has been copied over, you're going to eject 
your USB, pull it out of your computer, and then plug it into the second USB slot on your PlayStation Classic, like so. Plug everything in. Obviously, your controller is going in the first slot, and fire this bad boy up. Okay, it is switched on. I've got my controller in hand. And it's going to take a while to load up now that it has the new Auto Bleem operating system installed. There we go. If you press X when it comes on, it will scan for all the latest games. And press Start. You can press Select to get to the Options menu. So you can change the theme from Christmas to something else. You can turn the music, background music off because it's very, very distracting. So there's plenty of different themes that come with the themed version that I did that was 1.5 gigabytes. Make sure that it is widescreen if you want. So in, this, in the options menu, there are a few things that you can use. So press select to get to the options menu. You can change the theme to turn off the background music, choose which music is there if you want background music. Show internal games on. Those are the games that came with the PlayStation 1 Classic, like Metal Gear Solid and things like that. So then press X, OK, to go back, and then start to start Auto Bleem. And also, we have Retro Arc also installed, which means there are plenty of options for emulation on this machine, which I'm going to be testing out in the future. But... But for now, we're just going to want to press start on the controller to start Auto Bleem. And as you can see, all the games. So Battle Arena Toshinden is a game that came free with it, along with Cool Borders 2, one of my favorite games. I loved Cool Borders when I was a kid. I used to play that all the time. Destruction Derby, Final Fantasy VII, Grand Theft Auto. And the first game, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, is a game that I put on there. International Superstar Soccer Pro 8. That's a game that I put on there. Mission Impossible. So all my games are now listed here, and that is just the BIOS there. Jedi Power Battles. No, it's not Jedi Power Battles. That's the wrong game. It doesn't matter. <laughs> so the game I was showing you in the... So, the, so we're going to start the game that I was showing you at the beginning. You just go over the game, Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories. Press X. It's up to two players. Now, if you want to use two players, you can use a USB hub but I'm just going to be playing single player right now. And here it is, Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories. Let's start a new game. So here we are on the battle. So here we are. My card and my decks is ready to play. It is playing smooth. It is playing great. If so first, I'm going to play my Mounting Warrior. I'm going to change that to defense position. I'll let my player place a turn. There we go. He attacked my card. Next, I'm going to play my Megarus Light. Face up. See what you guys are. Yeah. Next, I'm going to place my Megaris Light face up in attack position. And I think, if I remember correctly, if I press square instead of X, I can trigger a, a cinematic battle. There's my Megaris Light. Talk! I feel like I should have one of those. My Yu Gi Oh! Pyramid. I'm gonna switch my Mountain Warrior into attack position and do 600 damage to his life points. And I end my turn. I used to love playing this as a kid. So to get back to the main menu, just press select and triangle. 
on your controller and it'll bring up this menu here and you can quick save, quick load, go through the PCSX menu, save the auto bleem config for this game or you can just exit the game. And there we go, we're going back to the menu. And we're back where we started before. So that's it for this video. That is the easiest way to get PlayStation 1 games onto your PS1 Classic, if that's all you're after doing. Now, as I have alluded to before, there are plenty of other things, like you can load up RetroArch and add extra emulators to this such as classic doom nintendo entertainment system super nintendo games things like that dreamcasts there's a there's dreamcast cores available how well they run i do not know but the nintendo 64 is on here as well with mupin plus and things like that retro arc is fully available on this console i'm going to be exploring that in future videos so if you want to see future videos like that and hit that like button let me know down in the comments hit that subscribe button if you've used this video and you found it useful again like comment subscribe all of that jazz as you can see in retro arc the discs are all loaded in for the games that i've got as well so i can play the games from here it's a lot to unpack. There's a lot to do. This is the, just a really simple, easy way to add extra games to your PlayStation 1. Classic. Thanks for watching this video. Have a wonderful day. And I hope everyone that you love is well. And remember, don't do anything I wouldn't do.